winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video. Second take at doing this video. I just recorded about an hour and 20 minutes. Didn't even have the headset on. It didn't turn on. <sighs> just great. So, I'll show you what I all did in that video, and then we'll just continue on from what I was doing. So, um, I did not get much more fence done from the last video, because after I uh, finished the last video, I had left, and I thought I had... Si well, when I came back, I closed Giants Editor, and I thought I clicked save, but I didn't. So I lost a half hour of progress. No big deal. 20 minutes, I had it all back. So no big deal there. Um, and then, so then what I was doing in this video is we changed the asphalt texture to this kind of nice tar. And then went to the Midwest Grain and Livestock map, exported the dealership, uh, this repair shop, and the elevator here uh, off of that. This is a Pioneer storage map. Or Pioneer Storage Elevator type thing. Um, so we exported all those off. And then got them all placed in here and whatnot. Then we also... I also turned this BP gas station into Senex. Uh, which is a gas station that you see much more frequently in this area. Um, I don't think I've ever... Act, I don't think I've actually ever seen a... Uh, a need to delete those again ever seen a bp gas station maybe there is i don't remember so we changed this logo to senex changed everything to a nice light gray um changed that to senex we made this into a missouri valley petroleum or mvp um you know spot and then put hot stuff pizza because the cafe thing that was on there i've never heard of that but Hot Stuff Pizza is usually at the Senex gas station, so put that on there. And now we're going to go on to MAFM V2, and we are going to get the realtor place off of it. <clears throat> so that way we can have a realtor office. And I opened it with the wrong Giants editor. Go figure. If something could go right, that'd be fine. So this video is definitely not going to be as long as the other one was. Um, maybe it will, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's just... You know, I was sitting there doing the outro. And I'm looking right here at the mic slash aux. And it is not moving. You just saw how it was like all the way over. Like my mic was muted. Yeah. It was off. It stayed like that the whole video. I was like, well, crap. So, okay. Let's just look here. Um, okay, so there's nothing else I need there. So now we're going to go take this. Um. Okay, so then we're going to make some adjustments to this because, or wait, actually, what I should look at, let's go to downloads, and let's look for, oh, what the heck was that map now? Um, jeez, I don't even remember it. What the heck was that now? I know I did a series on it. Let's look and see if I can figure it out. Uh, um, 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 um. Belgique Profonde. There we go. Aha. Giants Contest 2013. Wait, no. 
copy that out there. Extract it there. Because I this also has one on it, but I don't know which... I want to look and see which one looks nicer. And then... Because this one has a Bianco, which is what I'd be changing it to. But, I don't know, maybe the other one's nicer looking. So, we'll just look at it here and figure it out. Uh, I know this is Century 21, which I guess actually is probably what it would be on mine too. Um, yeah, I like this one better. So, then we'll just edit this one. That's all that we'll do. Control Shift N, um, Century 21. So we can delete both of those. And we'll go File, Export Selection, go to the desktop, Century, and we can close that, open this. Let's see, first we'll go Textures. Then we'll edit with notepad. Okay. So, we don't need that. And, okay, so now this is what we need. So, map, new models, BP station. So there's three items there. Concrete yellow, handicap symbol, and white. And the rest of it's all in the UM <clears throat> Realty, real, Reality, Realty, whatever it is. Um, so we'll just scroll down to there. There it is. Okay, so we have a few things. Okay, so we're just going to... Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Nor is that. Okay, if I can click the right things. I have way too many things open. Okay, so we have MAFMV2 real, real, Realty Map. Um, UM Office Flooring. Uh, realty... Real, uh, whatever. Office Brick. Office ceiling, office desk, office desk with pull, office door, door mirrored, office door siding. Oh, office siding, not office door. Wallpaper bottom, wallpaper top. Concrete smooth. Shingles. White wood trim and window. Okay, so now we got all those. So now we need to go to water and get the plastic. Ugh. I have no idea what I'm doing honestly anymore. Um, and then we go here. We need all three of those. I don't want task manager control panel. Okay. So now we can close that. Textures slash. So we'll just copy that so that way we can just do a quick copy paste kind of thing. Or a quick select and paste. I mean. Um, and then I am going to change some textures inside in addition to some of the other stuff. Uh, I'm not going to change the map at the second. Um, I'll change that once I'm finished with the map. Because <clears throat> if, if I just leave it... Oops. If I just leave it, I can... Um, I can, you know, like if I go and look at it, oh shoot, you know, I forgot to change that. So, 
then it'll just kind of it'll kind of serve as a reminder that you know hey you got to change this yet So, okay, we got any PNGs? Nope. So we'll save that. Okay. So now we'll open this up here. So let's we'll take a look at the textures. So we need to change that. Um, okay, let's just look here. We'll see what we got. We'll make sure that everything's textured and that I did not forget something or anything like that maybe I changed something or changed it wrong or whatever okay so we got our textures in there we got our textures in there good so yeah you know if I walk in here oh you know oh hey I gotta do this yet so Okay, so I want to change this. So let's see here. Sign. Window. Material editing. Get rid of that. So then we want sign. This one has the real... Okay. That. Oh, I guess there is only the one. I don't have the other one, too. Okay. Sent what century 21 logo we'll go images we'll select that one we'll save it and then go ahead and take a look and I need to close that Minimize that. Go back to here. Oh, and I forgot to save with it centered. <sighs> okay, so now we'll save quick. There we go. Okay, so we have the Century 21 on there. Okay, so now I want to change this flooring because it, in my opinion, looks horrible. So that's all good. So then I want to make this wall. Whoa. Yeah, I definitely want to change that. Okay. We'll go laminate flooring texture. That's probably not what I want, is it? Final? No. Okay, we'll just look for tile. Um, I kind of like this one. That one is crazy. Okay, let's look at between these two. So we can close that one. We're done with that. So we are going to change the flooring. I mean, I don't mind this original one here, but I kind of want to change, change it, make it look different. Make it look not like every other one on every other map that has it. Oh, jeez. We'll go back here, go to here. <clears throat> oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so now we need to change these wallpapers. Make it so that they're the same. Not two different wallpapers. Because to me, that looks really ridiculous. Um, wallpaper texture. Let's just kind of look at what there is. Um, so what do we got here? 
Kind of a dark blue, maybe? E no. Um, a turquoise? No. <laughs> Full HD? Holy crap, that one even has raindrops. Office wallpaper texture, maybe. There we go. That kind of gives us more of what we're looking for. This one just messes with you. Holy smokes. I don't like that one at all. But this one I kind of do. I don't know. Maybe I'll just kind of do something plain. Something that's just kind of plain and simple. But not ugly. I kind of want a wallpaper just because it kind of it kind of gives it a look like that's not just weird. I don't know. It's not like a just one solid texture like it would be otherwise. Art maybe? No. Wall treatment. I'm not really seeing anything there either. Vinyl wallpaper. I kind of like this one. But. There we go. This one. We'll just take a look at this one. See what it looks like. Keep the canvas size. We'll just shrink that puppy down. Wait. Actually, leaving it like that might actually be better. We're going to try it. We'll try it. See what it looks like. If I like it, then we'll just kind of see what it looks like if we shrink it a little. Or to shrink it to fit. See, I hope this door will still work. If not, I'll have to put a new one in. Hmm. I don't mind it. Let's just try shrinking it, though. Shrinking it to fit. Shoot. There we go. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay. Ugh. Or maybe even just changing it so that they're both the same as what, you know, like, the original has or something. Maybe even. We'll try this one once more here. Yeah, okay, let's just put it back to one of these. We'll go back to open image. Um, I like this one, so we'll keep them both as this one. Shoot, wrong one. I accidentally hit C instead of E. Okay, so we'll save that, save that. And then the ceiling has got to be changed. I do not like that ceiling texture at all. There we go, I kind of like that. Actually, okay, now let's just try it as the white. Just to kind of see how that would look. You know, maybe it'll brighten up the room a little more. Because it is kind of dark now with that tile in there. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure something out that looks nice. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, now to do something with this ceiling. Oof. Ceiling texture. Ceiling tile, maybe. Just see if we can find, like, a nicer tile or something. See, something like this. That's something you see in offices a lot. Here we go. I like this. So we can close both of those here in a second. Um, the office ceiling. 
keep the canvas size. Okay, so maybe we can get by with just just having that one square showing. We'll try it. If not, it may just change it so it's one solid thing, too. I don't know. So we'll check it out here. And, okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, so now what do we want to change next? I think I'm going to change the siding color and maybe the brick. The siding for sure. The brick, we'll see. So we'll go siding texture. I kind of like this one here. Keep the canvas size. And we'll save it. Okay. Minimize. Minimize. Open. Actually, we want to leave that open. Oh, yeah. That works awesome. Okay. So now we need to figure out with this trim up here. Kind of figure something out a little bit different. Um, let's figure out what that would be. White wood trim. Found it. That wasn't hard. Um, roof, trim, texture. Whoa, um, okay, that's, let's just look at trim. <laughs> A seamless wood texture, maybe. You know what, I think actually we can leave it as that, um, Let's figure out a um, metal roof texture. Let's try and see if we can find something that looks a little bit better than the shingles. I'm not saying that we will find something better, but just to look and see what we can find. Hmm, that's different. Okay, so we'll copy this. We'll open up shingles. We'll just try it, or maybe we'll even just change the color of the shingles, and you know, still have it as shingles, just a different color. That actually looks really nice. Okay, so now for the final one, we're gonna look into changing the brick. Um, brick texture. Just to change it to something a little bit different. As I said, just to kind of change... Ooh, I like this one. Let's try that. Just as a change, really. Okay, we'll save it. And we'll check it out. Wow, that really lightens things up. Okay. Cool. I think we got it. We got us a Century 21. So, we can close that. Close that. Close that. Close that. Okay, so now let's get the uh, Senex and other thing brought in. Senex in the realtor's office. File import models. Entry 21. And Senex. So then we'll rename this Senex. And this Century 21. 
and then we'll cut and paste both of those. Okay, now where do I want to put the realtor's office? Hmm. I think we'll throw that up over here. Let's see, so I want to rotate it this way. So that way you just drive right in. See, I think if we put it right about there, we'll be pretty good. So we'll put this corner just down there. And then we'll make that nice and little. Control R to get our height. And then we replace that. Point one maybe just around these, just so that they show up. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now we'll just kind of do some smoothing around this place, and then we'll be all set. Okay, so now we need to go square. Well, first off, we need to bring this sign up here. Right about there. Bring it up. Slide it over a little bit. So it's not in the way of where I plan to put the driveway. Okay, we'll put this down to two. We're on asphalt and we're on square. Let's paint away. So we'll put this right there. There we go. Grass. Asphalt. Okay, so now we'll go right up to the building and then we'll just go right here is where we'll kind of go over. And we need to go back to grass to kind of get that closed up a little bit further. Um, yeah. And we're kind of offset though. So I think what we're going to do is we'll close that off. And we'll try and get this a little bit more centralized. Maybe like right... Nope. <laughs> right. Nope. Um, asphalt. And we got a little bit of a mistake right there. Okay, so let's try right here. That looks way nicer. Way, way nicer. So I'll just bring this out to the road. And we can go like this. This needs to be 3.5 now. And I won't need to do quite... Uh, I don't need to do the same kind of ending that I did on pretty much everything else um, you know at the road because you won't be coming in here with like a trailer or something um, well you know if you do you have a hard time getting the heck out of here with a trailer on and actually I think we should maybe widen this even a little bit more because getting out of here with a even just a vehicle would be a little bit tight because of right here so yeah we'll just widen this just a little bit I didn't want to go that way ok 
Okay, so now we'll just fix that. Okay, now it should be a little bit better to get out. Whoa! I do not want to do that. I thought I selected the mode. The uh, foliage paint mode. Okay, so now we'll go like this and just remove the visibility. We'll get all that like that and all that like that. Perfect. Okay, now it's time for Senex, which is going to go right over here. Except this will be like right by the road. So, so we can turn this to negative 90. And we'll slide it over. We'll drop it down. Bring it forward. Not quite that far. Not quite that far. There we go. Okay, and I thought I removed these, but I did not. Ugh. I don't want these debris stone things. Okay, so now we'll make this corner our reference. Or whatever you'd like to call it. Control R. And we'll just go over to the pumps, because then those other two pieces we can just move up and down. Although really I could have moved some of this other stuff up and down too, but this is just a little bit easier here. I mean, I still had to do adjustments to the terrain no matter what I did, so... Um, and this gas trigger needs to be up more by where you're actually filling. I don't know why it's so far back. Okay, and I just want to check the user attributes on this. Um, nothing much there to look at, so. Okay, so now we need the BP sign. And then what's this stuff down here? Oh, tank. Okay. So that's where your truck would go to unload. Cool. Okay, so now, time to start painting. We don't want the brush quite that big at the second. Okay, so we'll bring this over to about there. That's right there. Whoops. Oh, geez. If I could <clears throat> stay steady, I could have had that. Okay. So now we need to paint down to where? Right about right about there should do it. Okay, so now we're going to turn the visibility off of that. Just so that way I can see to do my painting. What not. So. Okay, so now we're going to just look and see. Is there enough room there even? To get by with a pickup. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. Okay, so now we'll turn the visibility off again, and then we will start removing some grass.
that little spot. And then we can go in between here. And the visibility back on. And we're done. There we go. So there's our town objects. <laughs> Not much, but don't need a whole lot. So, okay. Um, yeah, that's all that I'm going to do for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias, my mod site, and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.